until we wrap the back end. Then do the fenders and hood yet because they're still up there working on that. Trying to get everything tuned, set the timing on it so they're not quite done yet. So, we to be wait so they don't mess up anything. Uh, we don't want to do it twice. We don't really want to do it one time, so we definitely don't want to do it twice. Right. <laughs> Son of a bitch. She's gotta be here somewhere. Get a shot of the office without her. Where's she at? Where's she at? Is she not up here? Oh, there she is. We were looking for you. I know, we went through the back door. You came through the front door. We were gonna come get you in action for the, for the oh. shot. Hi. Hi. Are you ready to be on the vlog? Um, I guess. <laughs> Do I have a choice? No. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Go to hand on the thank you. The biggest headache that we have had out of this entire project so far, the only thing that we did not do was supply the motor. Everything on this Jeep is pretty much brand new we tried to repurpose the parts that we absolutely had to the grill shell the center section uh the radiator is original but that was the only part that was fine this thing came in a literal bird's nest it had everything from speaker wire there was probably 250 butt connectors and every section and then on top of that it had a lot of things that weren't factory it had the tbi uh, chevy style fuel injection conversion on it so just trying to sort through what was a necessity um, it has its own standalone this is the fuel injection harness and then everything you see in the new braiding this is what came with the painless harness so they have to mesh together and they kind of work in series so between uh, sean and Zach and I, we, we were able to get everything isolated, roughed in, now is when we go through and we'll final loom, use the cloth tape, get everything. This is all gonna be your master harness. This is all of your accessories and everything that run off of the starter solenoid. Clean up the, the Kibbe Tech battery box. We got the long tubes in. We've got the PSC Hydro Boost steering. All of that is in buttoned up. We put the front drive shaft in this morning. Brian went ahead and wrapped from basically the body back and we've already started final assembly on here. Zach got the tail lights and fuel cap and everything's getting finalized. Now we're just basically cleaning up. We've got the rear shocks mounted. We're checking for clearance and tolerances on everything. We built some stainless tail sections. We took some Magnaflow Universal pass-through style mufflers um, it sounds fairly decent I mean it's a AMC 304 so there's nothing real special about it but it it sounds clean it's not real tinny or or anything like the factory BS style but we're gonna go through now during final assembly the most important part is we're gonna go through and nut and bolt and torque everything you start from one side work your way around with a paint pen and check everything for clearance tolerances just from firing up the motor you can see that the bullshit cork gaskets that come with everything those leak so we ordered some silicone rubber and we're gonna see if we can solve that issue they drip down out of the back of the valve cover and come down on the headers but all of that in the next two or three days will come to fruition when we test drive it and see what all needs to be adjusted or swapped but we're excited to get this thing finished. It's actually starting to come together and get it out of here. Yeah. All right. So yesterday we finished up the exhaust. We got it uh, all welded and done. We just oh, let's take that back. It's not finished. We still need to make hangers. And <laughs> And uh, it'll be finished, but uh, it's all stainless, two and a half inch, 304. Uh, we TIG welded it up and purged it and 
you know, just wanted something simple and clean and that was removable, easy to work on. There ain't much room under here, so we had to, you know, tune it up a little bit. But it's coming along. Excited to see it finish and uh, run down the road. We're working on the transmission now and the clutch. Getting all that stuff working together. Can't get it in gear, so tuning away at it. You guys know what to say to the YouTube channel? Well, it's not been on. Huh? It's, it's not, not on. on. It is on. That's not. <laughs> Can you say like and subscribe? It's not cheese. Grind that down. Do you fill that in or do you need to play it? It works. Got us home from Gastonia. Don't forget to follow, share, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.